All right, welcome to Real to Real Outdoors. Captain Adam here. I'm with my good friend Ryan Ruba. Uh, we did some pike fishing. We caught some uh, smaller pike. <laughs> and um, I, I know a lot of people don't like to deal with pike because of all the bones. Well, we're going to do some pickled pike. And we are here at the Ruba Hunting uh, Lodge, maybe? Yeah, that's good. And so we're set up here. We're going to pickle some pike. Uh, we got all the important ingredients for the first step. We're just going to set up a brine. And we have, um, we have white distilled vinegar, and we have kosher salt, and we coarse. have coarse kosher salt, and we have bush light. Sure Those do. are the w three things that you're going to need to uh, do this. So. All right, so step one, we're gonna prep our fish. We have filleted fish with the bones in. We did not take the bones out yet. And uh, we're just gonna chop it into chunks. And the key to the whole thing is this ingredient right here. Um, the vinegar will dissolve the, bones. dissolve the bones out. So the bones are gone. And pickled pike is very good. So it's actually a delicious fish to eat any way you can, but this is, this is a good way to do it if you don't wanna take the bones out. So uh, let's grab a piece and kind of show them what we're thinking. So we're just going to cut this probably like in a, uh, about one inch chunks, inch and a half chunks. About like that. Perfect. And like, like we said, the bones are still in this fish. So uh, we'll be cutting on an angle a little bit. Well, we got about uh, 10 pounds to do, so we're going to speed this up. Ready? We'll All be right. back. All right, so we got our fish cleaned up. Um, we have about 10 pounds here, about two uh, one gallon bags. We quartered it or cut it into these chunk sizes. Perfect. Bones are still in there. Next step, we're going to create this brine solution uh, to brine the fish in. And the ratio is going to be uh, three quarts of uh, distilled vinegar, one quart of water. So each gallon is three quarts and one. And then uh, five eighths of a cup is what it calls for of um, kosher, coarse kosher salt. Per so quart of? Per quart yep. of solution. So, yep. uh, so what would that be like? Two oh. cup, a little two and a half cups, we'll call it, of salt, salt. per gallon. Yep. And we're gonna take all this fish, we clean this tub. You want everything to stay really sterilized um, through your whole process when you're doing this. We'll put all the fish in there and we're gonna just cover the fish with enough solution. So we'll just keep making the solution in those ratios until we have, until enough. We have enough. So, here we go. So just real quick, here's all our meat. Uh, we have it in one of these meat lugs. They're awesome. If you ever um, want to put things in your refrigerator, these actually fit in your refrigerator. They sell them at Cabela's and all kinds of places. But anywhere, uh, uh, LEM makes them. If you don't have any, buy four or five. And anyways, so what we have here is we have some small pike that you saw in another video being caught. And, um, and then we have these pieces are from a large pike, but it's just the part you cut out to take the Y bone out. So yep. we're not losing any of, of the meat by removing the bones. So you can make your cuts, uh, get your, your steaks and your loins out of that fish and all of the rest of this, we're gonna chunk it up and uh, that's what we're gonna be pickling. Yeah, so. basically what we do is we cut boneless fillets and whatever's left over, we throw into this box right, right. here. So we're gonna put uh, a whole bunch of this in there. Some salt. and some water, and here we go. We got. Here we just have some water. We're gonna dump in there with our vinegar. We're gonna add some salt in just a minute, and we're Stir. about good to go. So we're gonna just uh, put just a touch more water just to cover these fish, uh, and then we're gonna measure our salt and put our salt in there, and we'll be ready to brine for five, five days. days. So we'll be back in five days. Stirring every day. And we will just drink some bush light and wait for it to be done. I guess that's all we can do. I mean, there's nothing else. <laughs> all right, here we go. Get some salt. 
Roughly one cup. This is like my wife would not be accepting this. Oops. Ooh, I we kind of look at the recipe a little bit. Kind of make up our own. Yeah. Two cups. We'll add another half cup. When in doubt, drink some bush light. And Push dump it out. <laughs> okay, so what's going to happen here, the process, um, we're not going to tape this, but uh, every day we're going to come out, we're going to drink a bush light and stir this. And uh, leave it covered every night. Leave so it covered at night. It goes in the refrigerator. Um, and then in five days, we'll be back to do the canning part. In the meantime, bush. Cheers. All right, welcome back. Uh, we're at the Ruba Deer Camp. Pickled pike. That's what we're making. Day two. Well, it's actually like day six or five. But anyways, so per the recipe, we got our pike in our solution that we made last time, and it's been five days. We've been stirring it every day, keeping the you know salt and, and the water and vinegar and all that mixed around our fish. So we should be boneless now. Hopefully. In theory. And uh, now we're going to, first step today, take this fish out of this container. We're going to dump it out, and then we're going to put it into a cold bath of water. We're going to soak it for 30 minutes. We're going to change the water and soak it for another 30 minutes cold water each time. During that time, we'll make up our solution. So stay tuned. We're almost to the pickling process. Getting close. All right, here we go. All right, so our fish is going through its first water bath to kind of remove a lot of that salt that's built up on there. So our next step is we're gonna mix up our solution, our pickling solution. So we have two cups of vinegar, one cup of sugar, um, and two tablespoons of pickling seasoning, uh, which you can find at any of your specialty little shops. We have we have an awesome little like canning store in town where you can buy everything that you ever want. But anyways, um, we're gonna put that in here. We're gonna boil that for 10 minutes, get it all good and mixed together. And then you gotta let it cool down. You don't wanna cook the fish when you throw it on the fish. You just wanna pick them. So, here we go. Let's do it. We have really good math skills. So, <laughs> we'll get out our calculator and we'll figure, oh, oh, and we forgot the most important part of today. And that's um, to just have some kind of bush light-ish. Mixture. Mixture <laughs> for you to stay hydrated during this process. Hmm. All right, stuff we're in. Let's do it. Oh, that's not sugar. Sugar's in that bit over there. We're back. Uh, we didn't have enough sugar. So I drank Bush Light, Ryan went to Meyer, got some sugar. Worked out for both of us. <laughs> yeah, great for me. Yeah, so anyways. Uh, we put eight, eight more cups of sugar in here. We have our pickling spice in here. And we are ready to uh, put it on our turkey fryer because we're at deer camp. And that's how you cook at deer camp, with a turkey fryer. So we're eating actually some smoked fish. That's fantastic. And uh, we're going to watch this stuff boil for 10 minutes. And we'll be back. All right, here we go. We're back. Uh, just finishing some push lattes. I wonder if I can rock at this right into the camera. But you can't. It was close. So our fish is on its second soak. We changed the water once. Our uh, we boiled our pickling uh, liquid, and that is outside. It's uh, winter here, so cooling down. it's cooling down in the snow. Um, we're gonna put some vegetables in. Uh, I think the recipe kind of calls for onion and uh, bell peppers, um, the sweeter bell peppers. And but we like garlic and you know jalapenos, and, and then they had asparagus. So grab that. Why not? <laughs> so this is a little bit of uh, kind of just throw it in there and see. We're gonna put some jalapeno in some. We're gonna do a couple jars with whole one whole jalapeno. A couple of jars with half of a jalapeno and then um, jars with none. So we'll see what's best. And we're going to put garlic in them because I love garlic. It's delicious. I've never really had anything pickled that 
that garlic wasn't good. And it goes good with bush light. Super good. But we're at deer camp, so we don't have a ton of knives. We have like <laughs> one knife. And Rapala has this new R12 HD uh, lithium ion rechargeable, re replaceable lithium batteries. This thing is sweet. So I've never cut vegetables with one, <laughs> but I'm gonna try it today. So let's cut this stuff up. Let's do it. We are at the point where we have our fish here. It's drained, um, rinsed twice. Our brine is almost ready. It's outside still chilling down. We got our vegetables cut up and it's time to fill these jars. So, Brian? Basically what we do here is we're gonna take a quart jar or whatever jar you choose to use. We use quarts um, and you're gonna layer the fish a layer of fish, um, then you're going to do a layer of vegetables, whatever vegetables you choose to do. Once you get it all the way to the top, you're going to take the brine that we made out there cooling off, pour it over, once you cover all the fish that's in there and the vegetables, seal it up, put it in the refrigerator, wait five more days, and then uh, it's good to go. And it's pickling, so if you wait longer than five days, it, gets it just gets better. So, but a minimum of five days. Um, my experiences with like jalapenos and that sort of thing, they don't really get all the heat out of the jalapeno or garlic. It takes it probably 30 days yeah. to really see that. And then we're gonna put some asparagus in there because- Who doesn't like asparagus? Doesn't, yeah, pickled asparagus. I've never had it in pickled fish, but it's gotta be <laughs> good. I'm gonna make a pickled fish with Bloody Mary, your dad. Great idea. Sounds amazing. Um, so we'll get some Tito's, we'll infuse that with some Maybe some jalapeno? Sure. Or jalapeno? Whatever Jala you, jalapeno. You, which, whichever way you go. Jalapeno, buddy. Mary. So we're going to fill these up and uh, we'll get the brine in here. We'll show you real quick on that and then come back five more days, seven days, something like that. We're going we're gonna to try this stuff out. Then once you put it in the refrigerator, you got to keep it in the refrigerator because it's not sealed. Yeah, yeah we are going to run these through a canner so this, they won't actually be sealed. So you do need to keep it refrigerated. Refrigerator pickles. Let's get to it. All right, here we go. All right, we got our jars loaded. We're gonna go get our liquid. Um, you're just filling it up, you know, close to the top with the liquid, and then we'll uh, screw our caps on, put them in the fridge, and we will see you in five to ten days. -ish. Whenever we get to it. Whenever. You won't know because we're just going to tell you it was however many days. So. Sure. Keep watching. Drink I'm getting light. excited. Yeah, drink some bush light. Cheers. Yeah, it looks like you need another bush light. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm wearing the same clothes as the last time we did this. Oh, yeah. It's kind of weird. I think, oh, I am too. Shoot. Yeah. Well, anyways, we're here. <laughs> Our pickled pike is ready. And we have it's quick. some duct tape that we use to label things because we're very handy. Uh, this is two jalapeno pickled pike. You want to try it? Let's give it a try. So Ryan's going to try it. 30 minutes later, I'll try it. Maybe. If he's doing good. Oh, come on. Might as well hit some of that pike first, huh? Oh, big old piece. Hang on, let me get over here. Mmm, <laughs> oh yeah, baby. That's very good. Pretty good stuff. Not that I'm surprised. <laughs> At all. <laughs> We're really precise in our measuring of all ingredients. And of course. That's why course. it's so good. And we also, of course, stuff every vegetable known to man in there. Because when you're eating some pickled, you always just want a little pickled asparagus. Or a little really red pepper. Too. The peppers are the best. This is one of the better things we've made. We've made a lot of things together. We should pickle some squirrel. Probably could. Some coon? Coon. 
<laughs> raccoon. You gotta, you gotta draw a line somewhere. <laughs> raccoon. <laughs> well, thanks for tuning in. If you want to try the pickled pike, we have it, uh, the recipe up on, on our Facebook and also uh, check the comments. It's in there. Hit the share button, hit the like button, click the bell. Eat some pickled follow. pike. Yeah, eat some pickled pike. Thanks for tuning in. Big thanks to Bush Light and, of course, Captain Chucks for making this happen. We'll see you guys next time.